Anyone who knows Brighton knows there are many hidden gems on the music calendar. Be Music has unearthed one such gem, Harvest Sessions, and I'm here with House of Hats, the promoters and founders of the night, run regularly at the Brunswick. Sessions suggests kind of a sort of wheat, barley, plows in the fields, things like a very farming kind of thing. Um, what, what's the kind of vibe? What can people expect if they come down to check out the music? Um, m- mainly acoustic music, um, all kind of quite chilled, um, singer, songwriter, folk kind of thing. Um, we generally kind of stick stick to that. Um, yeah, so that's that, that's what they can expect. You know, normally we have a we have a very good audience that come here. They they're all very um, they're a listening audience. So it's a nice intimate atmosphere and yeah. Too many roads to travel, too many borders to break. This time you are gone for certain. I see you in ten more days. Ten more days alone here. Standing in the corner of rain. No matter where you go, I'm with you. Is it always run out the Brunswick itself? Yes, yeah, we always run it here. Um, kind of, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just kind of, we've got a bit of an emotional attachment to here for some reason. We played our very first gig here. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just a nice place. We have thought about moving it somewhere bigger, but but um, we kind of like it here. So for now, it's going gonna, it's gonna to carry on here. Our first night was in uh, back in July, wasn't it? Was it July? Yeah, we played a few shows here before, sort of on and off, and it went down so well that we thought we would actually start putting on our own night, um, where we'd we'd invite people who we've played with previously at festivals or people in London or just other places, and and get them down for the Brighton crowd, and it's worked really well. People really enjoyed it. So. Burn life down. Tattooed and scarred Keep your faith in me joined by Conrad who's played on quite a few of your sessions how did you get involved Conrad? Um, That's a good question I can't can't remember I think I think I'd probably seen you guys play maybe before Um, and yeah and uh, we sort of gigged or you saw me play or something like that did we play a show (laughs) was it here? (laughs) (laughs) Um, uh, yeah and then you know they they do the monthly night um, as Alex was saying, it's always a great night, you know, they're a great band, so yeah, I was happy to come down and play. And uh, yeah, it's good. The scars and memory.
search for new musicians? Is it just kind of people you meet around Brighton, or uh, can people sort of send you demos and get involved? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, yeah, people can sort of contact us. That we're always open for that. However, it's it, as we said, it's originally started with uh, the people that we've performed with and that we've gigged with, um, or been associated with through producers or you know people that we've worked with. So it's kind of a big family, basically. But yeah, people are more more than welcome to send in or contact us through Facebook and Twitter and whatnot. So, yeah. Talk about yourselves for a minute. How's the hearts? Obviously, all met in Brighton. From how long have you been together? About uh, eighteen months now. Yeah, probably about eighteen months. So it's quite new. We've known each other for a very long time and been in other projects, but um, this specific project's been about eighteen months. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. And uh, yeah, what are your influences musically? Well, it's it's all very different actually, and we always talk about this when we we speak to the audiences and stuff. But for my for me, it's it's a lot of the blues singers and um, a lot of Bob Dylan and that early folk stuff. Um, that's what made me want to do this music as well, so it's the early stuff. Anyone else want to throw some influences there? Well, because I'm one of my roles is to sort out the harmonies, or at the beginning of the project it was to sort out the harmonies, so I've kind of grown up on a lot of um, soul and uh, listening to gospel music as well, so sort of that's where my influences come from to, to create harmonies and, and whatnot. So it's been quite helpful with, with the band because it's, as I say, it's a three part, three part harmony band. So, so yeah, so there's actually, so there's four of you, three part harmony, and then you also have, uh, is it banjo player as well? Or? Not strictly a quartet. We've got Fiddies here, who also plays with Comrade, and we've been fortunate enough uh, to have him come on board uh, whenever he can. So we're a kind of quartet slash quintet just to make it a bit wild. And you, you guys uh, get involved in the community a little bit as well. I heard that you kind of do some teaching about access to music and things like that as well. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing there? We, we just we just got invited to go and do like a harmony workshop for them yesterday. It was really cool, like really really good fun. Um, really nice, really nice kids. We just played them a few songs, um, talked to them about how harmonies work, and uh, also you know a lot of them had a lot of questions about what it's like being in a you know a working band and and um, what the good things and bad things are and you know, the dynamics of it and how it works so it's just it was kind of nice actually just to kind of you know let them know a little bit about what we experience um, not that we know everything <laughs> we've got a long way to go but yeah it was cool and there are a lot of, uh, sort of talented youngsters coming through the ranks in Brighton aren't there there's loads Brighton's got a really good music scene yeah really really good music scene um, one of the best in the country I'd say um, yeah it's frightening the young kids that, that come through, um, mainly because they can do everything, you know, like record their own stuff and and uh, just do everything, yeah, so. Yeah. Great, so uh, so when's the next uh, Harvest Sessions? Obviously people have missed tonight's one. When's the next Harvest Sessions and how can people find out about future gigs? Well, a lot of our gigs are posted on the Facebook and the Twitter, a lot of online sort of places to go and find out stuff, but our next Harvest Session is actually not till March. Um, we have been running this monthly as a residency, but um, we're cutting a few months out and making it a really big night in March. So, you know, try and look out for it. So, yeah, quarterly. Look out for it because it's going to be a really good night. So that's the next one. And how much is it on the door? Six pounds and then five pounds in advance online if you buy tickets there. So, so an incredibly reasonable night out. 
thanks guys very much for talking to us Thanks so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night, whatever you do. Thanks for coming out. Thank you.